Two questions we get asked most often are how do I sharpen a recurve blade, something like this, and how do I sharpen a karambit or a hawksbill blade, something with a big curve like this. I'm gonna show you how to attack both of them right now. The trick when it comes to sharpening a recurve blade or curve blade like a karambit is getting an abrasive that can get into that curved section of the blade. Plates have a hard time getting in there, which is why you need something that's either flexible or rounded like this ceramic rod. If you want something a little bit more aggressive that has some teeth, you probably want to use a diamond rod. But for this example, I'm going to show you on the ceramic. Lay the knife on the ceramic rod and then just follow the curvature of the blade like that. The rounded rod will just follow along into that curved section, allowing you to get a nice, sharp, even edge on your knife. A more effective and faster solution is to use a powered sharpener with a flexible abrasive belt, like our knife and tool sharpener here. That flexible abrasive belt will form to the curves in the blade, either on a recurve or form to that deep curve on your hawksbill or karambit, leaving you a nice factory finish when you're done sharpening. One last tip when it comes to karambits and hawksbills. Due to the exaggerated curve on these types of knives, you're gonna to wanna to give yourself a little extra room. So for that, we recommend moving the sharpener to the edge of the table to give you that space you need while sharpening. 